Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Joe. Me and my wife Renee, we're resellers on eBay and some other platforms. Um, today we're going to do a what sold on eBay. Had eight sales for $379.77 over the last two days. So let's jump into it and I'll tell you a little bit about them as we go. First is a belt buckle. It's a Corona Extra belt buckle. Has a little um, bottle opener on it. There's the back. Picked this up, I think, for a dollar at a yard sale. Um, belt buckles, anytime I can find them for a dollar or two, I pick them up. They're long tailed. This one's been sitting around for probably about a year, year and a half maybe two um but picked it up for a dollar sold it for 950 they don't take up much space you can fill a little box of them in your uh storage area with them and just pull them as you need them sold for 950 the buyers all in at 1568 so that's about a nine eight about a six dollar profit or so super easy to package ship lightweight small fits all the categories of something to look for uh, next is a little Anna Lee doll we picked up a whole bunch of these and have been selling them we sold a bunch of Christmas ones around Christmas time now it's Easter time and we got a little bunny rabbit so Easter stuff is starting to sell we had $2.46 into each of them once we broke it down. This one sold for 18 plus shipping. The buyer's all in at $25.58. Again, super easy to package. Don't have to worry about it breaking. Just stick it in a little box with some paper around it to keep it from bouncing around too much. And there you go, first class shipper. Again, we got two more quick and easy first class shippers. Uh, first, another lanyard. This one's Betty Boop or Betty Boop. Uh, picked up a whole bunch of these from um, a gaming store that was going out of business. They had a whole display of all kinds of different lanyards. And we're in the profit on them. So this one sold for $8.99 free shipping and then this one on the last video you would have seen we sold one exactly like this and this one is going to the same buyer as the Betty Boop and the last one that we sold I guess they got it and liked it and came back to our store and bought some more and this one's going out for $9.99 so the buyer's all in for about twenty dollars with the taxes on them and their free shipping so i'll drop them both in the same bag and send them out then we have some lotion i had four of these listed we picked them up uh retail arbitrage Paid a dollar fifty a bottle for them. They were on uh, clearance at, I believe, Family Dollar. Brought them home and listed them, and somebody bought all four of them in one order. So, all four of them, they paid thirty dollars for all four, and is all in at forty five oh seven. So we turned four six dollars into 30 plus shipping good little flip easy to package and ship and then we have this here's what it is it is a general electric rr7 relay low vo low voltage remote control relay i'll show you what it looks like this is what it looks like. 
So these things, we went to an estate sale and they were in a box in a garage. There was a whole bunch of stuff like this. There was these, there was, um, if you saw a video back, I had some um, motion sensors. Um, there was some other things that screws into light sockets that you put your light bulb in and um, it electronically turns off and on whenever you set it for but the estate sale I took the whole box up there and I'm like hey how much do you want for this stuff and she's like a dollar a box dollar for a little box so I was like sounds good take them so I brought these home there was uh, six of these in the in the box the RR7 relays Listed them for $59.99 free ship, and I have sold two so far in less than a week. Here's the other one. They're both going out today. So, what's that? Shipping. This is going to go out first class. Um, about a $45 profit per each one. So... That's a ninety dollars profit right there. We only spent a hundred dollars at that estate sale total. So, and I've already sold some other ones in previous videos, so we're way in the profit. And then this last thing also came from that same sale, same estate sale. And this is something to keep an eye out for. It's a board game, Conquest of the Empire. Um, they had this up in the top of one of the closets. Um, we went on half off day and they had $50 on this box. So I opened it up, took a quick look in it because it's got, it's probably got a thousand pieces to it. Took a quick look in it and not really a thousand, probably it's a few hundred though. It looked like everything was probably there um, everything was in great shape. <clears throat> Box has just a little bit of wear on it because it's a pretty old game. It's from uh, 1984. Um, anyway, so I knew what this was when I saw it. And I knew it was going to sell quick and for a, a decent amount of money. So I paid $25 for it. Listed it for $1, $140. And I sent out an offer to a watcher for 120 and they sold, they bought it. So 120 plus shipping and the buyer is all in at 143.05. So about a $80 profit on this board game. Keep an eye out for it. Conquest of the Empire. Even if all the pieces aren't there, just taking the pieces out and selling them individually you can make some pretty good money on it. And then, oh, the last item was the second one of these. So, two of those. So that's it for today. It was, again, it was eight items for $379. Quite a few smaller items that were less than $15 and then a couple of big items. And I'm happy with that. So stay tuned. I'll add another day of shipping to this. And then we'll close out the video. But hang tight and you'll see me in just a second. All right, guys. Welcome back. It's Friday now. Um, got a few more sales that I'm going to show you. We're getting ready to run out to some estate sales. So I got to be quick. Because I like the buying part. Um, had one sale on Poshmark over the last couple days while I was working. And it was this pair of Soho New York and Company New York boyfriend style jeans. Picked these up from the big reseller buyout that we did where we got a whole bunch of clothes for about a penny a piece um so basically have about a penny in these 
They sold for $15. Our earnings were $10.50 after the shipping and stuff. So we're making about $10.49 off of these. And then we got our orders over on eBay. Had 10 orders over the last couple of days for a total of $328.50. So jump into them. Got this hat. I picked this up at, um, I think this hat came from church sale. It was like a filler bag. That's where I think this came from. It's brand new, <clears throat> uh, one size fits all. It's a, uh, I got the one glasses on. G and G armament hat right there. So about a buck into it, and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Buyers all in at seventeen oh three. Then I got a tie. People that say ties sell don't listen to them. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Picked this tie up probably two years ago. It's a Brooks Brothers. It's got little palm trees on it. Here's the tag. I figured Brooks Brothers tie. Red power color. It would sell quick. But stuck around for a couple of years. I think I probably paid a dollar or a dollar ninety-nine for it at a Goodwill. And it sold for $12.97. Buyers all in at $13.98, so it was even free shipping. And then we have a Indiana glass. It's a vintage clear Indiana glass round cake tort plate, village guild handmade 13 inches. So this is what it looks like, has a little stand on it. This Indiana glass stuff, the clear glass, we've sold a few things for it that we've put out there pretty quickly. So normally clear glass doesn't do well. This is doing well. I don't know, Renee's the genius on the glass. Anyways, we paid 50 cents for that. It, came from uh, one of our estate buyouts, I believe the apartment buyout that we did, and it sold for $17.99, buyers all in at $31.82. I mean, that thing, that thing almost weighs five pounds by itself. And then I have, from earlier in, should be this video, I guess, but not today, it was yesterday, or a couple days back, we sold some of these little, uh, low voltage remote control relays. Another one sold for $59.99, free shipping. And then there's some makeup. CoverGirl True Blend. Got two of these. They were bundled up. Um, we got $4 into it. And it sold for $12, and it took a while to sell these. I believe we picked these up from a Dollar General on clearance. Pretty sure. There was like an outside thing. They had a big table set up, a bunch of stuff they were trying to clear out. But they took a little while to sell, too. Then we have another Easter item. Anna Lee. Uh, little white rabbit Easter bunny. Pull her out of the bag. It's a little tiny thing. Let me see. Here's my hand. And it sold for $11.99. We have $2.46 into this. Sold for $11.99. Buyers all in at $24.02 with the shipping. Put the bunny back in the bag. There we go. 
then we sold another another one of the glass hand blown glass long stem flowers so again say a little prayer for this one to make it after, through the shipping process but have somewhere between five and ten dollars into this and it sold for 30 buyers all in at 4770 with the shipping and taxes so another hand blown glass flower is going out knock on wood i've sent out i believe six now so far and haven't had one returned broken so i hope that didn't jinx me knocking on some more wood and what's next what is this weight watchers winning points weekly booklets so it's the little booklets and it's not even all the weeks it's weeks one two four and six we have about 75 cents into this came from an, an estate buyout um wasn't even listed i don't think it was even listed a week and it uh it went for twenty dollars we took an offer of twenty dollars on it buyers all in at 25.95 and then some more weight watcher stuff are these going to the same person no not even going to the same person sent us the same offer though twenty dollars and it's these winning points weight watchers winning points finder and booster slide slider card tool set so it's these little slide things that help you figure out your points for the weight watchers point system and here's another one had about 50 cents into this came from the same place estate and they sold for twenty dollars also these two little cards buyers all in at 2470 with the shipping And then, last but definitely not least, another one of these. And again, I paid a dollar a piece for these. Found them in a garage, in a box, at an estate sale. Nobody knew what they were. I just scanned them, uh, got a quick idea of what they were and an approximate value, and took them up to the lady and I'm like, hey, man, how much? She said, give me a dollar a piece because she didn't know what they were and they have been selling very regularly i think i have two left uh 59.99 free shipping uh yeah i have two available still so i've made at that whole estate sale i've made we spent a hundred dollars two hundred dollars profit off of these um and then that game that i sold for 120 that was a great estate sale and we didn't spend a whole lot of money there so but anyways that's it i'm gonna go ahead and end this video leave a comment down below what's the best little let us know what's the best little oddity that you didn't even really know what was could you pick did you pick up at an estate or a garage sale or something for like a buck and it sold pretty quick for big money let us know put a little comment down below and that's it i'm going to get these packed up and we're going to go out to some estate sales and see what we can find and i'll show you later bye guys